At number one this week, you've seen it everywhere, the 2012 logo. A visual play on the numbers that make up 2012. It's been controversial since it was launched, with a video that caused a reported 18 epileptic seizures. <laughs> now, obviously we're not showing you that bit right now, but Kirsty, you'd be fairly keen for your logo not to make people ill, wouldn't you? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, the whole idea of a logo is, is you know, to, to get people to understand what it is very quickly, very easily, not confusing at all, and it sort of looks like a, you know, like a pink panther's been rolled over and squashed and doesn't... I can't see the numbers even in it, so not a good idea at all. I think that logo's brilliant. What? <laughs> that is awful. Why? Why do you think that? It's very, very difficult to do something that cuts through, mm -hmm. that's noticeable, yep. that will forever be attributed to these games. Yeah, and but that's exactly... rather it not be shit. No, 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 no. <laughs> that it isn't. It caused controversy when yep. it came out. Absolutely, it did. Yep. But over time, what's happened is exactly what they would have thought would happen. We've got used to it. Yeah, and now we look at it and we go, oh, okay, that we associate it appropriately to the, t the 2012 games. It, it's it's unique. It's different. Okay, people so... are having epileptic fits looking yeah. at it. Okay, eighteen people. <laughs> so... <laughs> so, okay, it is unique. It's differentiated. It will stick. And it, I think I actually genuinely think but it's, it's uniquely bad, Russell. No, I mean, it's if not. it was that simple, we would just do ads where people stand up drop their pants, turn around on ad and say, buy this product. No, 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 because that... Because... <laughs> everyone's I mean, going to recognise it, you know, it and go... Technically, you would need five rings. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Well, true. <laughs> oh. The Olympics already has a five-ring logo. Uh, Rob, why does London 2012 need another one? The whole rationale is economic impact. So the branding of London, and to Russell's point about what that logo stands for, is really important. So we don't want every Olympics to look the same, because London needs to look different to what Sydney did in 2000, to what Athens did, to Beijing did. So there's a, there's a branding piece for the city. The other commercial reality is it provides another layer of merchandise. Uh, the London Organising Committee paid branding consultancy uh, Wolf Olin's $800,000 for that logo. Todd, is that a lot in this sort of business? Am I in the wrong game? Uh, that's not a lot. Uh, they didn't just buy a logo. They bought a whole branding program that gets rolled out globally and gets managed globally. So $800,000 in the grand scheme of what they would have spent on their marketing side is relatively small. Uh, you know, the people that come up with these logos, good or bad, mm. they are... They, they've got a unique creative capability. Of course it's worth 800 grand. It's worth more than that. You could have sent it to a primary school and got a better result for that. Uh, uh, <laughs> Detractors have had a field day. More than one person has observed the logo looks like Lisa Simpson giving head. <laughs> <laughs> you can never unsee that image. <laughs> Others have noted that the parts can be rearranged to spell the word Nazi. <laughs> but that's balanced by the fact they can also spell out Zion. Russell, how will the IOC measure the brand's success? Well, of course, it's about the merchandise that they sell and it's about the attribution to the 2012 Olympics. But weirdly, it doesn't sort of matter because mm. it's disposable. Um, uh, uh, in 10 days' time, no one will care anymore. It, it serves a purpose, then it's in the bin. Grew and sweat. Grow up, not old.